splash screen off. Welcome back to the short film. Here we are. So we're making some good progress. Uh, hopefully you've caught some of these live streams. You've all, these all stay up for everybody. So hopefully we'll be able to enjoy them. We won't have a lot of time today, but just wanted to do a little bit. Let's pick up where we left off. I'm just going to head back to the beginning and just take a look at what's going on. Uh, right away when I'm watching this, this, this shot's bouncing for me in terms of how wide the lens is. Um, I kind of feel like he's rushing off a bit too quick as well. Like the um, the moment where he kind of darts is like so fast. It just kind of doesn't feel right. It feels like he'd kind of slow down and peek and then jump. So I think I want to have him slow down sooner and then kind of have him peek off. Uh, and also I want to change the lensing on this shot here because it, it feels weird to go from like such a long lens to such a wide lens and then back to a long lens. Um, it's a bit too much of a change, I feel like. So we'll do that first. I might pop it up to a 30, maybe a 35. And let's see, what are our keyframes on this? Um, You know, let's take, um, so what do we do? We kind of, we're turning as we go. Yeah, so I wanna take all of this. I think I'll just box select these guys and grab Y and just drag down until we kind of end up with a nicer in frame. I also might pull back a bit. So which direction is that? That's gonna be on the Y. So we go for the Y location um, and I'll just grab these keyframes. Whoops, why do we not see a change? Am I looking at this too small? Oh yeah, okay, it's very small. We just love those keyframes selected. So I'm just going to pull back a bit more. Because I want to see, I want to see the front of these guys. Yes, yeah, so that feels just a little bit better. I think. Maybe this cuts a bit too soon. See if we can get his him to slow down a bit sooner. I think that'll help us out. I'm gonna to go to my dope sheet, turn my widgets back on and split my view so that I've got one 3D view and one camera view. Let's turn screencast keys on so you guys can see. Hello everybody, hi Spicy Carmel. Good morning, hi Casey. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Hello, hope you guys are enjoying this. Totally different pace of content. Usually we're doing the tutorials and I'm smashing those out once a week. I've still been doing tutorials, but um, not as often as usual. Hope you guys don't mind. Thanks for, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for liking the videos. Helps it grow. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna get this guy. And first let's decide when he, how we're gonna have him slow down. So I feel like we should end this thing. I'm gonna grab it back a bit. And then I wanna get that Y direction. Let's go to my graph editor and Y location. Zoom into that and let's see, where are we with the Y location? So I just wanna slow him down a bit. Is that gonna do it? Or do I wanna take this? I'm gonna have him stop a bit further back, I think. Which means all of this stuff needs to come up. I kinda of have to make sure he's in line with this door here. I want him to stop.
he is not in line with the door here. So let's grab that back down. Maybe that's not the best idea. Yeah, because he's really only just in line with it. Maybe what we could do is um, we could grab all of these. So I'll just get rid of these guys. And I'll get rid of that and that. So I just have these ones here selected. And let's bring this whole group up to like here, let's say. And then what we can do is take this keyframe. Might make the handle type this one Bezier, but scale it down. That way I've got two handles on this one. And I can drag this up. So now he's really going to just slow down. Yeah, cool. See what happens with. All right, so this stuff, he needs to kind of like go in a little bit. So I might take this one and take it here maybe and grab these guys and take them down too. So he's like going. We're just gonna kind of smooth this out. In fact, what we could do is just delete those keyframes. And then we've got a nice smooth arc. Oh, he's still moving all over the place. That's because of the way. All right, we'll have to figure that out. It's because we're animating the base and him off of his center point, which isn't the best, but that's all right. You don't really notice it in this shot, to be honest, because of the way he's moving and the way at the angle we have. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, To like hard stop like right here I might bring this one down and set the handle type to uh, an automatic clamped yeah that will straighten it out so we should stop hard I'm just watching here to see how he looks as he stops. Oops. All right, let's go to the pose mode and we'll grab all of the bones here. And I'm gonna have to look at the object transforms at the moment. I'm just gonna have a look at his bones and I wanna think about this move that he makes where he goes over. And let's see, I'm gonna go for the dope sheet, I think, for this. And I might bring this one back so the first keyframe takes longer. It's a bit of a pop, so that means that this one might still be set to, might still have some constant keyframes. Let me just Bezier all this again real quick. Yeah. I'm watching here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take this set and duplicate it and bring it back. So it makes that step a bit quicker. Cool. All right. Turn all of my controls off so I can see things nice and clear. Let's watch the short from this side again. OK, 
Okay, so he's not far enough back when he tucks in now, when he pops out, I mean. So I know that's going to be back in our um, curve editor, where are we? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, graph editor. And turn his transforms back on. Let's just take a look at the Y location. Or is that, no, it's the X, isn't it? No, it should be the, mm. right, let's go back to object mode. And make sure he's selected. Um, so we want, yeah, it should be the X. Why would the X have changed? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yep, straighten that up. All right, cool. Now we need to figure out the second bit here, like what happens if he jumps. Turnaround's a bit too quick, I think. Dope sheet. Just grab that over to here. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go into pose mode, select all the bones, come to here, hit I, keyframe the whole character, and then I'm gonna come back like two frames, I, whole character again, and then grab these and drag them out, right? So he zoops around and then this final bit is kind of like a slow, slow kind of ease to a stop. Well, it doesn't seem to be working, does it? It's a bit odd. Why would that not work? Is there rotations on the actual transforms of the... Oh, there is. That's how I've done it. Okay. So what I should do is grab the Z rotation and add, I can create a single keyframe here for that. I can grab all these. Yeah, that's a bit better. Just kind of eases that 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 turn. Okay, so now let's think about his action. So he's gonna watch and he kind of ducks in. We also could get rid of this drift on the Y. So let's go to it's on the object transforms. Y location, let's head back to the, I think there's a way to, oh, that's right, yeah, control tab swaps between graph editor and dope sheet. That's a great, that's a really good hotkey. It's a good thing to remember. So let's do that. We'll switch over to here, go to the Y location. So he's got this drift back this whole way. He's drifting along the Y. So it doesn't, it looks like a straight line here, but it, it isn't, we can tell because of the action. So if I was just like these two keyframes, like this, maybe that one too, and then hit the full stop key and zoom in. Uh, it'll give me more of a, of a clear view, but it still looks straight. Looks very straight. So it must not be this Y location. Let's just have a look at these numbers, see if they change. No, nope, they're not changing. So he must be drifting. Oh yeah, see that orange dot? That's his origin point. You can see him sliding backwards off of the origin. So that means that this move is actually happening in pose mode. So it's the controller, the master controller is what's moving back. So if I hit full stop, yeah, there it is. You can see that giant, giant move that's happening. So let's take that master controller. And the reason why this is happening is because this is another pose that we set where he's gonna like kind of sneak back. So we kind of want him to be like traveling backwards to this point. So to do that, let's go ahead and take uh, this and we'll set it to constant and this one as well. Set all those to constant. That way it's not going to drift around on us. We can just think about pure poses. So he comes there and then he needs to step backwards to this point. So, so he's going to pop up and then he's going to maybe lift this foot up. Uh, make sure auto kinks turned on. Yep. 
So I'll do that up. Also switch this to local. So I'm working in local space. And he's gonna move his foot back a little bit. So using full stop just so I'm pivoting around the actual bit. I might rotate this on the X a little bit. Now we're not doing um, stepped keyframes, so I just need to switch back to the dope suit so we can easily grab. Just grab all these guys right here and set them to constant. When he goes down here, let's uh, zero out that rotation. Oops. Go to the bone tab. And we want to zero out that rotation to make it flat again. And the Z as well to put it back on the ground. Well, it's not on the ground, so well, that's right. I remember that from before. the The foot's not quite. And we can move it back a bit, like this. Maybe he puts his foot down a bit more off to the side because he's kind of traveling that way. Okay, and then this foot is going to raise up, bring it in, and kind of recenter his body a little bit. Maybe I'll turn it like that as well. Okay, again, I need to grab these guys and set them to constant. So what I might do is grab like this moment here, A to select all, I, keyframe, whole character. And then right here, I, keyframe, character, character. What this is gonna do is gonna help kind of break things up. So. Hey, 4K, good to see you. We got the band back together. <laughs> it's really fun. It's good to see all you guys online. Um, all right, so then we're going to bring this down here. We could probably take it back a bit further, to be honest. Check out the, watch the curve of this foot here as it goes up and down. Does that feel like it's curving in the right way? Yeah, it looks all right. I think when it raises up though, it should probably tilt forward a touch. Trying to get him to here. Give him another beat here. Select all, I, whole character. And he's not in frame for all this. But he's gonna be in frame here. So I might just go from here, I, whole character, and then Grab Z, rotate X, grab X, grab Y. That leg oriented correctly. Oh, cool. Bonjour, Claudia. Oui, je, uh, je te comprends. My French is a bit bad, but I do understand it. 
um, yeah, it's cool. So you say you're doing your um, uh, semester en licence, en diplôme français. Awesome. Really, really happy to hear that. Thank you. Got is saying that um, thanks to my tutorials, my videos online, that um, he's doing his, uh, basically he's going back to school for it. And X, let's clear out the X and down. Yeah, that's pretty close, eh? What we could do is even come over here. We can grab the location. Um, and although what is going on with him? He's kind of all over the place, isn't he? It's all right. Grab the position here of this foot. So I could just hit the full stop key. Is that going to work? No. Foot control. There it is. All right. So we can grab, um, a foot control, shift D, duplicate, drag it back. So that will put it in. Uh, that didn't work at all. Why did that not work? Our origin point move again. Yeah, that's a real problem. We need to just cancel out that movement and just do all this. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take the master controller, not the master controller, sorry, the object transforms up here. And I'm just going to select all these and delete them. Uh, and what that's going to do is going to stop offsetting him all the time in two places, which is really confusing. We'll have to realign him for all these specific shots, but that's all right. Is he animated for that? Yeah, he's not even animated with that for here, so we can delete these as well. Now his origin will just stay put for all this bit so we can actually just animate him properly. Okay, cool. So up, down, let's go here. And Seeing what is moving, this this thing. We don't really need it moving so much. We can kind of keep him still. So what we could do is leave it like this. So delete those. Yeah, it's gonna look a lot better. foot down. Hey, Quasi. 
Well, we really do have the band back together. This is great. Slip that foot over a little bit. I'm just kind of looking at the feet right now. So this keyframe's a bit wonky. Make that there. Make that there. Let's go ahead and take everything again. Let's keep it constant so it's clean. We can just focus on the poses. The foot, the foot there. Now what I can do is come here, hit A, and then shift box like that, switch this to global, and then grab shift Z, and I can just move him over. Yeah, cool. This one, pop them over here as well. It stands up from that point. have to do is this and bring it back find let's see where else is the body really don't need those keyframes and they should all be constant <laughs> All right, we'll just redo this animation here. But... <laughs> I broke that. And his body's kind of all over the place in this shot, even though his feet are kind of working. So I need to clean that up as well. I might go ahead and focus on that now. Trying to keep his body kind of roughly in the same spot. Okay, I'm gonna come right to here, hit A, I, whole character. So that he'll kind of be in this pose right here and then start to move down to the squat position and then he'll end up in that position. And then he'll stay there till about here. So again, I whole character, so this kind of locks him in this position and then he's gonna pop up five frames. Look, we'll need to adjust this camera.
Yep. And these keyframes we can delete because I don't want to have that camera moving. And then we need to fix all this, but it's all right. All right, let's see what this all looks like. Hey, Drew. Welcome. Good to have you. Switch back to pose mode, hit A to select all. We're gonna grab what? So everything from here is already Bezier. But from this point right here, let's grab all these guys, all these guys, and we'll just do the whole lot. Interpolate Bezier. Just focus on the shot. Just keyframe my camera. I didn't want to do that. I like how the little steps kind of add to his realism there. The timing's off. Like I feel like we need to kind of slow them down. And it, it happened a bit quick here. It kind of goes zoom, 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 suddenly. It's like still and then suddenly does something. There's a slight drift on him too. Get the timing of these keyframes right. It's kind of our work. Like you, you rough it in with the constant sort of stepped keyframes, just thinking about poses. Then you bezier it, and then you move things around on the dope sheet to get the timing right. And then you go into the curves to kind of refine those curves and fix the mistakes. So this bit here, I felt like was realistic, but took too long to get to. So. What I'm going to do is grab all these guys and kind of just drag them out a little bit. So it's Gonna move these keyframes so they kind of overlap a little bit with the cuts. So he's kind of like moving. Also need to turn off the controllers so we can actually see the effect. Yeah, I don't know if these are really working for us. Like I almost feel like it would be better if we took one step and then all of this, what if it just happened over here? You know, like Let's take this maybe and like scale it. Why does that feel like it's not going slow? Do I not have all the controllers selected? I must not. Yeah, I don't. Bugger. Means all these are out of sync now.
these back. Scale them out. Lanfear! So good to have you. Yeah, it's nice, really rare I get to stream this time of day, so. Watch from the beginning to have a think about what we got. Let's fix this ending bit. So he's going to stand up, and then all this we need to go back to constant keyframes. Close mode. Not everything selected. What's going on? All right, so this move right here is, his foot goes up. It's not supposed to send it up all the way over there. It's supposed to just have it lift up here. And this, I think, was straighten him up. This is kind of a little oriented towards camera. Okay, and then all this, let's see, let's grab this and this. And I'll just bring it back over to here so he's bouncing off that edge. Select all. And let's have a look at that. It looks like it's some weird rotation on him, so I just want to clean that up. The idea is he's going to be looking up here and then suddenly look down and lift his foot up. And he's going to kind of hold that position for a second. Looks like we've got an extra keyframe we don't need on this. So what's going on here? Like that. Back a bit. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's lock his position a bit. Come up here. I whole character, so he's going to look down, and then lift his foot up, and then he's going to fall. See how this plays out when we busy it. So 
I'll right click interpolation Bezier looks up this thing we gotta fix. What's going on here? Duplicate this. Oh wow, we got some bad rotations on our um This is one of those things I was warning you about earlier in earlier streams. We talked about being careful about your rotations on your bones. You can have them in constant or stepped keyframes and not realize that your bones are doing 360 degree turns because like you just rotated it a bit too far and didn't realize uh, things like that can cause problems. So that's what's going on for us here. And the only way to really fix it is, um, To kind of redo the motion because you can't really, yeah, it's not a lot you can do. I might just take all these guys and delete them. Let's just animate this. As he's looking down, let's do the uh, location rotation of the foot and bring it up. And as it's going up, let's do the location rotation of his body and kind of lean him back a little bit. Maybe put this foot back down. As soon as it starts to move, let's give him like a little, like, ah. Maybe pop that out two frames. And then as soon as his foot kind of goes, actually, let's go back one keyframe. I for location, actually, let's select all of them. I location rotation. And then boom. Why work with his body going up like that? Grab this maybe as he goes down. He's looking up. That looks pretty good. Nice to be kind of turned towards us though, wouldn't it? Like 
Can we grab this and move it this way? Do that. Yeah, that's nice because his head's kind of going up. Very cool. Sorry, I missed a lot of chat. Um, good to say, see everybody. Um, <laughs> Landfear says I've been jonesing for my live stream fix. Haha. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right. We're used to work on another Nebula render. Nice. It's going to be cool. Can't wait to see it. Studio's turned to be pretty good, Land Fear. Things are going well. Thanks. Thanks for asking. And, oh, wow. You guys have had blizzards. Epic. Epic. All right. A little bit of life. What's going on here with this? That's a bit too fast there. And I think we need some more keyframes. Can't just slide his feet, you know? What he needs to do is lift his feet. So let's go find the foot. Foot control, I'll just duplicate that keyframe so his foot's still. And then go up. Let it rotate and then down. Do the same for this one. Up. Or that one lifts, it needs to be of down a bit more time for that. And then I might delay this move on the body. And then I even do like a little sink, you know, he kind of goes up, up, and then down like that. Cool. That's quite nice. And I don't like this where his feet just slide out. I'm going to do the same thing. Grab this foot and let's see where's the final in position. That's the actual in position. So I want it to go up 
So he's going to lift his foot and come down. And I'll do this foot first, I think. Actually, not that far up. Just a short flank. Zoom in here. Does it look like it's actually going? I don't think it's actually coming back down, does it? There's the ground. Are we even on the ground plane? Yeah. Okay, so once that foot lands, then this one can take off. And I feel like for this bit, oh, this foot's drifting. Let's grab this, shift D, duplicate, and grab it there. I feel like he would like kind of put his head down, you know, like. So from like here, go down like this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll set a keyframe here, delete that one and drag this in. Yeah, it's like he's kind of nodding off, that's funny. Do one of these like quadratic outs, is that? No, no. No, it's not just you, White Rooster. The guys who are marching are sliding. So that's a problem I have to fix at some point. We just have them on a walk cycle and we're just moving them all forward. So they're technically just sliding forward in space. Um, I'm okay with it for some of the shots because I don't think we'll notice as much, but this close up at the start, it's a problem. It's mostly a time saving thing. Um, so we're gonna animate individual walk cycles, make sure everyone's feet land. I feel like he kind of go like that, you know, like he's. Cool, I feel like it's really good progress. I'm just gonna save real quick. Save as, version up. Nice. I think this works really well. So yeah, what we're, what, what's left, I think for us with the animation in the scene is fixing up the walk on these guys. Uh, Cause that's not really working. The sliding feet. I'm not really sure what's gonna be the best thing to do. I kinda wanna take them off of the, the rail that they're on. 
and kind of look at each one individually and get their feet to work. Um, or maybe there's something we could do with the walk cycle itself. I don't think so. You can see how their feet are kind of wobbling. They're not rock solid. It doesn't make sense. And then they kind of launch whenever they step up this foot here, like it launches. They start to slide here. Yeah, it's the main thing taking taking the scene down a bit. Um, take a look at also a little bit here like when he sinks down uh he's not quite um like there that moment his hold frames where he's not doing anything they're not great for selling that he's like alive you know like you kind of want to have a little bit of something like that you know some subtle movement You can look around a little bit, you know, like zoom. And then like, what if bit too much? Pretty happy with that. Great. All right. I think what we'll do next time is we'll try and conquer the sliding feet. I've been a bit avoiding that because I'm looking forward to it. I think that's the plan. How long have we been going? Going for about an hour. That's good. I'm trying to keep these streams to about an hour long. So uh, it's good to 
see everybody. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're enjoying this process of watching me put together this short film. It's a pretty slow and uh, tedious, not tedious, meticulous process um, with a lot of detail that you really have to think about. But um, maybe this will help you as you're thinking about maybe doing your own short film or, you know, um, making your own series or something, you know, just kind of grappling with you know, what does it take to push animation to a point where uh, it looks good and works well? Um, and uh, yeah, so I hope you're learning a lot and enjoying the process. Thanks so much for joining me today. I will um, catch you guys in the next stream. Of course, I'll keep this one up for everybody. So seek it out, watch it, enjoy it, and uh, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback in the comments. And please, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It really does help more people find out about it. Um, and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you later. Catch you in the next stream.